I seen it. Uh. transit of 2022 for this particular message we're going to be looking at Taurus energy or 11th house transit of Jupiter and Pisces um, this is for Jupiter rising Sun and moon however this is for anywhere you have Taurus in your chart so 11th house transit um, this is about you meeting or becoming an, an influencer or meeting someone of influence um, you will be able to receive blessings or assets through maintaining relationships with your friends, co-workers, or, tr or tribal members. Um, it's time for you to get rid of false beliefs about requirements you have regarding friendships or networking and start to create other ones. Okay, um, Pisces does also have to do with um, sacrificing. So if you have any standards for people to completely sacrifice themselves or you completely sacrifice yourself for, you know, a cause or other people, you want to be careful of that because you don't want to completely give yourself away or force other people to completely sacrifice themselves for you because it takes away the individuality, which is your spirituality, your ability to be sane and connected to your higher source. So this is a great time for you to expand on being more connected to your divine counterpart that is within and this will allow other people to do the same okay you'll find that you have better relationships um there'll be more equanimity between you and those you connect with there will be less control issues and more insight into accepting people for exactly who and what they are instead of trying to change them okay so let's see here first we have desire underlying situation what would you want to stay away from or what may be coming up for you stability interesting earth okay what you want to focus on your routine and your outcome is leo i will Okay, which is opposite to the 11th house energy. So overall, you're going to receive benefits, Jupiter return. Okay, so this is a time for you to receive all the benefits you can from a structure. Okay, receive all the benefits you can from what you know and who you know. And don't suck it dry, Pisces energy. <laughs> okay and don't escape either don't try to escape reality through other people um as well so desire stability routine i will so when you receive these benefits from you being you being true and authentic to your individuality um you will be looking at what it is that you truly desire and it will cause some instability um, Uranus is going direct in your sign um, today or tomorrow. I thought today was the 17th instead of the 18th. So it might be today or tomorrow. Uranus will be going direct. So there will be some instability in your life right now that is forcing you to wake up and smell the roses it's time for you to create a new routine for yourself that's what you want to be focused on so you have the willpower to do any and everything that you want that's how you receive the benefits okay so let's take a look at these you want to get out of the lack mentality five of pentacles wanted to come out that's what's causing your instability is how you perceive your reality do you speak of yourself in a high regard? Do you have appreciation for your mind, body, and soul? Or 
is your instability causing you to downgrade yourself to feel like you're lackluster to feel like you're second thin or less than or what you are able to produce is less than do you feel like the things that you desire are not desiring you do you feel like the things that you want to come into your life that you're wanting to attract hasn't shown up and it has to be something wrong with you just understand nothing is wrong with you you just need to put yourself in a position to be happy to have fun to create excitement in your own life and that's something that you are responsible for and you cannot get that from anyone else okay so let's look at desire okay your card <laughs> You're desiring to be yourself. You're desiring to be reconnected with yourself, your higher self. The hair font is also the card associated with um, spiritual teacher. So you desire a spiritual teacher or you desire to, be, to become a spiritual teacher for yourself and others. Nothing is wrong with that at all. You'll definitely receive a lot of benefits from doing that. But are you ready to continue putting the work to get to that point? Are you ready? Do you feel like you're ready? Stability. What's causing your instability? What's causing instability? So are you open to receiving these benefits? Because this has to do with the 11th house, the individual, and the sea of many. What is for you will always be for you. But you have to be open to receiving it too what's coming to you as your benefit or your blessing is not going to be the same for you as it is for someone else that's what individuality is all about if you're expecting to receive the same thing someone else is getting because you know them or you're connected to them you're looking in the wrong direction you need to turn your back on trying to receive or covet things from other people and just stay firmly put on focusing on your own gifts your own benefits for you per your situation that you create per your individuality that you choose to express every single day in your world okay the three of wands is about receiving your ships coming in hermit so you may have to distance yourself um from other people for a while and only i mean check in and let people know you're all right but maybe you being alone makes you feel unstable and it's because you're not open to receiving the things that you need to help you become stable from being alone okay so let's look at this routine more virgo energy your routine has to do with family legacy um building generational wealth that's where you want to put your focus in okay you got the two of pentacles at the bottom another jupiter energy here so it may be hard juggling um your routine which again goes back to that stability you need to sit down and create a routine for yourself that is going to empower you and those around you your family moving forward and that will require you to make some hard choices some hard decisions but you desire to be the executive in your life that means that's what you have to do you have to be open to the instability of it all in order for you to receive this type of stability in your life in your routine every single day so every day make it your aim when you get up in the morning that you're going to create a legacy for not only you but for the generations to follow you and you will, you can receive ideas just from saying those affirmations every single day you'll start to receive ideas on how to build that legacy that wealth that you want to leave for your family whether it's your children grandchildren great-grandchildren whatever but it starts with having a healthy routine so where well, you get to express your individuality too because what you're building and what you're trying to do is not for to be carbon copies and you can't carbon copy what someone else is doing either you you have to do something that's directly in alignment with who you genuinely genuinely are and what genuinely makes you happy and what makes you want to get out of the bed every day so then you can connect with other people 11th house who are on the same path as you and create friendship genuine friendships with people 
who will support you because they understand what it's like because you're on similar paths. You're not doing the exact same thing because we're all individually, you know, gifted with whatever it is we're gifted with. However, having a support system in the same field as you is way more rewarding than trying to, you know, only keep your eyes open for what you feel you desire instead of paying attention to what it is that you really truly want. Because you can have a desire to be a spiritual leader or a spiritual teacher for your family. But if you're not open to doing the work that comes with it or being open to mostly just being open to the fact that what you think is stable for you is not really stable for you. You have to be open to accepting that and being okay with it in order for you to move forward. So again, that goes back to this juggling act that you have to do. You have to allow things to go and allow things to come in. So the outcome is Leo, I will. Your willpower is being strengthened. Your confidence is being strengthened. Here's that group of people who share the same feelings and, I and ideals as you coming in. And we have the two of wands at the bottom. It's a whole new world that's being opened up to you because you chose to do your thing, 1111, instead of trying to do what someone else wants you to do or what society tells you to do or what your family think you should be doing or what your friends have been doing. You can't copy nobody and nobody can copy you. So make it your aim, your mission to figure out what personal individual dreams you have and go after them and be open to them actually coming to fruition. Okay, what activation card do we have for 11th house Jupiter Transit? Angel Razio and Theater Sight. Storm Wisdom. Ooh, this is pretty. It says, I am one with the storm of creative divine chaos that precedes the birth of a new reality. Yes, I am cleansed and cleared of what has been. I open with a wild heart to what must be for the soul to thrive and to grow and to love to grow and love to grow. I'm sorry. I open with a wild heart to what must be for the soul to thrive and love to grow with faith and spirit in my soul. I willingly enter into the process of transformation. Goodness and healing shall come from what is happening in my life. I trust in the divine beauty destined for me. Okay. So with Uranus being in Taurus for the next five years or so is helping you to individuate, individuate what type of desires that you have that need to come to the forefront. Are you going to get your higher and lower? Are you going to get aligned from head to toe? Are you going to be in alignment? Are you going to allow yourself to listen and take directions from someone who's already been down this path and can share their wisdom with you? And are you actually going to use it? Because you have to go through unstable moments. And I know for a fixed sign that thrives in stability, it can be a challenge. But without the challenge, like, are you really living? Are you really making and creating the life that you actually want? Receive your benefits from being true to self and allow things that are no longer working for you to leave your life. Don't hang on to anything. Let it go and be open to receiving the stability that you actually need for you, your family, and then you can meet new people to have fun with. What greatness am I missing? Okay, so that's your message. Thank you so much for tuning in.